Today I am going to explain to you the concept of like and unlike decimals. Okay. Now you all understand the word like and unlike. I'm not talking about the Facebook like and the Facebook unlike. Okay. Actually there's nothing called Facebook unlike but there is an option of unfriend. Right. What I mean by like here is you know you must be using these concepts where you say okay there is this apple okay it looks like something else maybe a circle or some other fruit when you say it looks like what does that mean that basically means that it is common to so if you look at it by appearance it is common in appearance with something else as against this Unlike would mean what? It is not like a given thing. Same is the concept with the like and unlike decimals. Okay. So what does this like and unlike decimal means? Now I hope you understand the concept of decimal places. So in any given number, there are two parts which I explained to you earlier also. Let's say I take 33.634 and I take 66.783 1. Now in this basically you have two parts. One is the part before the decimal point and the other one is the part after the decimal point. The first one is known as the whole part and this is known as the decimal part. Right? When you count how many number of digits are there after the decimal point okay after the decimal point how many digits are there that is known as the decimal places right so if you count here you have six three and four there are three digits after the decimal point so we say there are three decimal places insofar as this first number is concerned now if I look at the second number after the decimal point I have one two three four okay there are four digits okay and these four digits are known as what we say that this number has four decimal places right should I take another example I guess that will complete the circle let's say I take 44.632 in this how many decimal places are there decimal places is what the number of digits after the decimal point so these are three right now in case of like decimals the number of decimal places the number of decimal places is equal so if I name these three numbers as let's say A, B and C, okay? In A, how many decimal places do we have? Three. In B, we have four and in C, we have three. So two numbers are said to be like decimals when the number of decimal places is same. So we say A and C are like decimals. But A is not a like decimal vis-a-vis -vis B. Why? Because in B you have four decimal places. Similarly, B and C are not like decimals. Why? Because B has four decimal places whereas C has only three. Right? Again, if I just give you another example, let's say I have 33.15 and I have 42.16. In both these cases, how many decimal places do we have here? Two. In this case also we have two. So these are like decimals. Right? If I take another example, I say 43.971 and let's say 98.6984. Now in this case, how many decimal places do we have here? Three. In this case we have four. So these are unlike decimals. Now the question comes up is can I somehow convert these unlike decimals into like decimals? 
Now, one rule which I am telling you now, okay, which is relevant is that whenever you have any decimal, let's say 43.971, if after the last of the decimal digits we add 0, the value of the decimal does not change. Okay. So one of the simplest and the easiest way of converting unlike decimals into like decimals is we see which of the numbers has the higher number of decimal places. So let's say it is 4 here. What we do is we increase the number of decimal places in the other decimal by adding so many zeros as would increase the number of decimal places to the other one. So let's say if you have 3 here, if I add one zero, I'll have four decimal places over here. Similarly, four decimal places over here and this unlike will become like decimals. Right? If you want, I can just explain you this rule also. So let's say for example, you have 0 0.3 and you have 0 0.30. Right? What I am trying to tell you here is that if you have any number which has a particular decimal point or decimal value, if I add a zero after the last digit, the value does not change. Right? Or in other words, if I just add a zero here and make this point three zero, the value remains the same. Let me prove this to you. So if you have zero point three, okay, what I can do here is I can convert it into a fraction by dividing it by 1 and then after point I put in a 0. So this decimal goes, this goes, you get 3 upon 10. Similarly, if you convert point 30 into a fraction, right, we'll divide it by 1 and then we will put in point zero zero. How many decimals are there? 2. So I'll just remove this, I'll remove this, so it becomes 30 upon 100 or I can just knock off these two to get 3 upon 10, which is equal. Hence, if you add any number of zeros after the last digit of a decimal, the value remains unchanged. Please note, you cannot, let's say for example, if you have 3.4, you can't add a zero after the whole number part. You have to add it after the last digit in the decimal part. Because if you add a zero here, it will become 30.4, which is not equal to 3.4. The zero has to be added after the last of the decimal digits. I hope you would have understood the concept of like and unlike decimals. Thank you for being with us today. You can visit our website www.iedubook.com for many more videos on math science accounts. This is Arinjay, your educator and tutor for this video.